Hi there, it's Michael Ackerman coming to you from Seattle, Washington. Today I'd like to blog a little bit about real estate commissions, how they work, who pays them. Traditionally in Seattle and most areas of the country, the seller is going to pay the commission. When a seller decides they want to sell their home, they'll hopefully interview a couple listing agents when they pick the agent that they want. They will sit down with the listing agent, and as a part of the listing contract, they will decide how much commission they're going to pay. Traditionally, the amount is split in half. The listing agent who's hired gets half, and the selling agent who's going to be representing the buyer gets the other half. So if you're a buyer out there looking for a home and you want to hire a buyer's agent, it shouldn't cost you anything as far as commission goes. You will pay commission when you go to sell the home. So a buyer's agent is kind of a freebie. Now there are um, exceptions to this rule. If, for uh, one example, your buyer's agent was going to sell you a home that is marketed by an owner themselves or for sale by owner. A lot of times that owner does not want to pay commission. Sometimes they will. If they don't, then the buyers would be on the hook to pay their own agent's commission. And that can be negotiated into the deal or negotiated between the buyer's agent and the buyer. But 99% of the time, the seller pays the commission. If you have any other questions about commissions or anything else about real estate, feel free to email me at michaelackerman at cbbain.com. And always remember, it's about the connection.